Peter Robinson is the new DUP leader. It's all a bit confusing, I think, for people because we've had so many farewell uh, moments. But he is the new leader, but he's not yet First Minister. Will he be on Thursday? As we're in this transitional period, he's now the DUP leader, but Ian Paisley hasn't stood down as First Minister. He's still First Minister today, tomorrow, and then on Wednesday, his last official duty will be to um, welcome Alex Sam and his Scottish ca- counterpart here, um, and they're conducting some functions around Belfast together. Then, if all was to go according to the script, on Friday morning he should tender his resignation to the uh, Speaker, Willie Hay. Under the law, as things stand, that would then mean that Martin McGuinness would no longer be Deputy First Minister because these two jobs are sort of umbilically linked. Yes, just to, just to uh, clarify, that is Thursday morning, not, not Thursday, Friday. Yes, sorry, uh-huh. Thursday morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thursday morning. Um, and then uh, uh, after that happens... If all was to go according to the script, then uh, we should have a sitting of the Assembly live programme, you and me waiting for it, and we should see um, uh, Martin McGuinness being re-nominated as Deputy First Minister and Peter Robinson being nominated as First Minister. However, and this is the big but at the moment, um, Sinn Féin are toying with the idea, it's our understanding. They're they're not coming on and saying this on our programme, they're not making any statements, but certainly there are indications out there that they've considered the idea of not nominating Martin McGuinness. Well, why would they do that? Um, Republican sources point to the fact there's unhappiness over a number of issues, the Irish language, the the failure to secure an act on that, the maze, most uh, importantly, though, uh, the delay in devolving justice. And uh, this seems to be if you like, a shot across the bows of the DUP. Well, I suppose um, everybody likes a bit of suspense. It improves uh, the story. But is that all it is, a bit of theatre, or are there some sort of real negotiations, hard bargaining going on behind the scenes? Hard to tell at the moment. I mean, you would think, what's the point at this stage when, so far as, say, for instance, the recent US investment conference was concerned and President Bush is coming uh, in the course of June, we're trying to send out that message across the world that Northern Ireland is a stable place. Yes, what's it would the be point inconceivable of, a month later to say Northern Ireland is now closed for business. Yeah, because what would happen is if they weren't to nominate Martin McGuinness, um, there, there will be seven days, basically, in which they've got to, to sort this out. So they may go for, if you like, a delay, a kind of a wobble whilst they try and get some more leave on those issues I was referring to from the DUP. But if that seven days came and went and there was no nomination, we would then be uh, looking to the Secretary of State to to name a date for a fresh election. And we could potentially, I suppose, have a summer uh, election and we will be back to that whole business of instability. So I think at the moment we're in a kind of political game of chicken. Um, Sinn Féin think that there are reasons why Peter Robinson wouldn't want to start his leadership with an election. He's got Jim Alistair out there. They say, you know, that there's some evidence of polling that shows that the DUP might take a hit here and there. At the same time, the DUP say, no, um, Sinn Féin equally might take hits. The, all the publicity for Katrina Rowan hasn't been that great. There's the possibility of water charges out there with Connor Murphy uh, looking after that. So, you know, it's kind of a mutually assured pain, really, on either side. So, I would say if you had to bet on it at the moment, you would bet maybe on possibly a delay, a mini crisis, but not going the whole way. The, 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 the problem is, though, that when you get the parties testing each other out, um, as I say in a game of political chicken, sometimes they can go over the top, uh, decide that somebody's taking them for granted and hey, presto, you're actually into a real crisis as opposed to a fake crisis. Well, uh, indeed, and and as you've said, uh, Sinn Féin are not fronting up to talk about this issue. They clearly aren't killing off the speculation entirely. I think that that's a stage of it, this kind of like media situation. We started picking up the rumours on Thursday of last week. Some Sinn Féin sources saying, yeah, we're considering this. Others say, oh, no, no. Um, Others kind of in between refusing to say nothing or saying now's not the time to go public. But actually quite happy in the general sense that this is sort of floating out in a kind of deniable way. So this is all part of the uh, choreography, if you like, of this. And people are talking about Sinn Féin. You know, that's got to be good from Sinn Féin's point of view. But then ultimately they have to work out whether they're going to make good on this uh, rumour that's floating out there or whether then come Thursday we're going to find that everything is sweetness and light. And of course, uh, because of the personalities involved, everybody's focused on the relationship between Ian Paisley and Martin McGuinness. Then, of course, you would have a relationship developing if everything goes according to plan, as you say, between Peter Robinson and Martin McGuinness. Do personalities come into this or is it simply a, a political moment where maybe uh, Sinn Féin can see that they might be able to extract some leverage here? Well, uh, they're, they're obviously past masters at looking at something and thinking, ha, 
we can maybe get something for this. Uh, they, they don't like being taken for granted. All the focus because of the DUP transition has been on the DUP. And also, I mean, there have been those noises coming from the DUP that the Chuckle Brothers uh, era is over. This is going to be a tougher, um, more austere relationship, whether that's true or, or, or not. But I think they will be a bit worried, uh, Republicans, about being taken for granted. Peter Robinson may be saying, look, I can rip up any kind of agreements that Ian Paisley has made in the past. This is a clean sheet. Um, and so they say, well, you, you want to take us for granted, you might find that you get more than you bargained for.